the brand new Tonex One from IK Multimedia. What is it? Should you buy one? And most importantly, can this little pedal do everything that the full size pedal can do? And for only 180 bucks, this thing is jam packed with features. So stick around because you don't wanna miss this. So how did we go from this huge pedal down to the Tonex One? And this pedal can actually do most of what the full-size Tonex can do. And without calling out the obvious difference of size and the amount of foot switches, this unit is surprisingly capable. It can do a lot. So all of the same amp captures and tone models that you have the ability to access with the Tonex pedal, you can now access with the Tonex One. So what that means for you is you still get spectacular amp tones, but now in a much smaller enclosure and a really attractive price point. First and foremost, you have the ability to upload up to 20 different tone models in the Tonex One. Plus, you can also operate between either dual mode, which is just the ability to go between two different amps, theoretically a clean Fender amp to a broken up Voxy style amp, or you can also operate the pedal in stop mode, which allows you to upload tone models of overdrives, distortions, or fuzz pedals and use them like a traditional stop box. So in this case, I was actually able to upload a Klon Centaur capture and use that right before my full-size Tonex, and it sounds fantastic. It's really, really accurate. And I think it makes this pedal super versatile as well. I also want to call out that you still have access to a basic tone stack with the ability to edit the bass, the mid, and the treble, as well as clicking into an alternate menu to give you access to your noise gate, compression, and your reverb. On top of all that, you also have the ability to enter a browse mode where you can access all 20 of your tone models without having to plug into a computer. There's also a global settings menu. And lastly, you can use the USB-C port not only to plug directly into your computer and use it as an audio interface, but you can also use that to power the pedal. Okay, now let's deep dive into how we actually use this pedal. In this case, I am in our dual mode, which if I click my foot switch, allows me to go from one amp to another amp, which in this case, I've got a clean kind of Fender style amp to the Morgan JMI from Alter Amp Works. And this is gonna give me that classic box edge of breakup sound and make this pedal super versatile. One other option with the Tonex One is we also have our stop mode, which I'm gonna talk about more in just a second. Now from here up at the top, we have our basic tone stack, which is gonna give us the ability to adjust our bass, our mid, and our treble frequencies. If I click the Alt button, this now starts flashing and I'm inside of our alternative menu. So from here, I can adjust my noise gate, my compression, my reverb, or the gain for this specific capture. If I click Alt once again, I am now back in my main mode. Now in terms of the colors listed at the top, we can go into the librarian and we can adjust those to be whatever we want them to be. Now if I navigate over to my stop mode, this is one other mode that I think makes the Tonex One super versatile. And if you're not familiar, Tonex actually allows you to capture overdrives, distortion, and fuzz pedals and save them in the full-size Tonex and the Tonex One. And in this case, if we switch over to our stop mode, all we are doing is just simply engaging or disengaging 
that specific stop. And now it's gonna be just like a normal overdrive or distortion pedal. And the cool thing is within our librarian, our Tonex One can store up to 20 different tone models inside of the pedal. If I wanna go in and adjust or save or move things around, all I have to do is click, hit swap or overwrite, and that will save that specific tone model inside of my Tonex One. Now, one other really cool feature with the Tonex One is if I click and hold the foot switch, this is going to allow me to access an onboard tuner. And then we can even dive in further with our global settings and our browse mode. If I click my foot switch, hit Alt and my foot switch at the same time, you'll notice it starts flashing here. And then if I rotate the bass knob, this is going to allow me to browse between my different tone models without even needing access to plugging into a computer or the librarian. If I click this three times, this is going to allow me to go to our stop mode. And if I click Alt and my foot switch again, now I'm back where I can just engage or disengage that pedal. Now, one other thing you do want access to is the global settings, which all we have to do is hold down Alt for six seconds. And this will give us the ability to go in and adjust our input trim or at the very top here, this gives us access to bypass our cabinet. And what we'll also see here is if I rotate all the way to the left, this allows me to switch to my dual mode or all the way to the right also switches to my stop mode. And then over here on the right, again, if I was plugged in, we'd be able to see the input trim for this specific tone model. purchase the Tonex One? That is always a tough question to answer. And of course, I don't know your specific needs as a guitarist. What I do know is for myself personally, there's a lot of really strong reasons to purchase this pedal. First and foremost, I think the price of $180 make this a really great amp solution, recording solution, practice solution, fly rig, for somebody just wanting something that sounds amazing and a really tiny factor that allows you to largely just plug and play with this unit. I would say the only counter to that for me personally is I typically feel like smaller pedals like this typically come at a little bit of a compromise in terms of the knob quality, as well as feeling a little bit more cramped as compared to the Tonex pedal. And for me personally, I enjoy having a larger enclosure where I'm gonna have more foot switches and I'm also gonna be able to have a screen to be able to more easily navigate my Tonex. And one other thing that I think makes this such a utilitarian style pedal is of course we have fantastic amp tones, but we also have captures of different overdrives, distortions, fuzz pedals, and we can use those with the stop mode on the Tonex One. And you can use that on the full-size Tonex as well, but I think for 180 bucks, having access to a plethora of different pedals is really cool. If I wanna be able to use a JSH Kilt or a Klon Centaur or a TS-808 style overdrive, I can load that into the Tonex One. And again, it sounds remarkably accurate to the original. And as somebody that owns the Helix and HX Stomp, my Kemper and now the Tonex, I think this is one more tool in the tool belt for me to just enjoy amazing amp sounds and have something that I can feature on this channel and make more content for you all. Super curious to know what you all think of the Tonex One. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and then watch this video right here on my initial impressions of the Tonex as a Kemper user.